Hey guys, this is Subhash S. Mistra, your test coach. Today we will discuss one important interview question. What is Selenis? You may get this question during your Selenium automation interview. Before we start, if you are very new to our channel and watching my video for first time, then I have a very long list of interview questions and tutorials. So here you can see the long list of interview questions. You can go through all these questions. Don't worry, I will give the playlist link in the video description. Please go through that. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you will not miss any further notification. So let's start. Selenis is the language which is used to write test scripts in Selenium IDE. We know Selenium IDE is a record and playback tool. Then how it record the scripts? It uses a special test scripting language which is called as Selenis to record the scripts. That's why we are telling Selenis is the language which is used to write test scripts in Selenium IDE. So, Selenis is the set of Selenium commands which are used to test a web application. Using Selenis, we can test if an element is present on a screen, broken links, Ajax functionality, alerts, windows, list options and lot more. Okay, then we will see what are the different types of Selenis command. First, we will understand what is command in Selenium. So, a command in Selenium describes that what Selenium has to do. Selenium Selenis commands are classified into three types. One is actions, then accessors, then assertions. So what is actions then? Actions are the commands which can change the condition of an application. For example, clicking a checkbox, submitting a form, selecting an option from drop down, clicking on a link. Okay. So when we perform these actions in a web page and if the action is not successful, then the test will fail. So, what are the examples of actions? Click is one example, click and wait is also one example of actions. So, this is what action is. Then we will see what are the accessors. So, accessors commands verify the state of the application. It is used to keep a track on the application and store it in a variable. So, the examples are for example, store title. Okay. So, store title will retrieve and store the title of the current page. Similarly, we have store text. So, store text retrieves and stores the text of an element. Then we have store text present. So, if there is a text found on the web page, then it will store the boolean value as true, else it will store as false. Similarly, we have store element present. So, if UI element is present on the web page, then it stores boolean value as true or it will store as false. So, these are the different accessors we can use to verify the state of application. Right? Then we will see what are the assertions. So, we know assertions are used like the checkpoints or verification points in automation. So, using assertion we can verify that if expected result and actual results are matching or not. Right? So, assertions is used in three modes. One is assert, then verify, then wait for. So, what are the examples of these assertions? For example, you are verifying value in an edit box. You are verifying if an item from the radio button is selected or not. You are asserting a text. You are verifying a text. You are verifying title. Okay. So, these are the different assertions or you can say checkpoints or verification points. Okay, that's all about Selenis. I hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. I'll try to explain it. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.